Okay, today we're gonna to go over a little issue that we found in Windows 11, and specifically Microsoft Edge. This is the default browser that comes with Windows 11. And despite most of my audience probably using Chrome, there are a lot of people that are still using Microsoft Edge just because it's the default browser and they don't install different browsers. So this little issue, it can be fixed by installing Firefox. Chrome or Opera or just using a different browser. But we'll take a look at the issue here. And we'll see that we're just in the default page for Microsoft Edge. And if we come up to our extensions or any tabs or any menus here that pop up, we can see that they are semi-transparent. Now this is all fine and great, looks awesome, until we get to a point where we have a pop-up, say for a password on a page like this, where you literally cannot see anything that is inside of this box. It's there but we can't see it. And so normally you would come into, let's say the options here. And again, see, you can't even see what all of these options are because there's a white background. So it's a very poor design here. So if we go into our settings, typically you'd say, okay, it should be some setting in here. But there is no setting here to disable transparent menu pop-ups or anything like that. It's just not an option. So in order to fix this issue, we have to go into some developer style menu. So let's go open a tab and we'll type in edge slash slash, and we'll type in flags. Okay, and we'll get this pop-up that this is experimental features ahead, blah, blah, blah. So in here, there are a lot of options. There's probably over a hundred. But what we can do is find the specific features that we're looking for. So depending on which kind of graphics card and which browser version you're using and all that, there are two features that we can disable that may or may not help with the issue. The first one is going to be the acrylic effect, which is what this transparency is called. So if we just type in acrylic in the search flags at the top, it should present us with that option. So the default is enabled. So for this option, just select disabled, allow it to restart your browser, and we will open that up and we can see if the option worked for us. And in our case, it didn't. So the next option that we're going to look for is something called the angle graphics backend. And that's gonna allow us to choose between different graphic graphics APIs like OpenGL or DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. So just type in angle and that should bring us to the choose graphics backend options. Now we have a few options here. And for the most part, the one that I have found works best in most situations is D3D11 on 12. So select that, hit restart. And now when it restarts, we should see that the menus are no longer fully transparent and we can go to our white background pages and see our menus perfectly hovering over presents us with a darkened background and the settings options and menus are all dark. So I hope this fixes an issue if you've run into this and you can continue using the Microsoft Edge browser if you feel like it or, you know, download Chrome or Firefox or Opera they'll all do the exact same fix and maybe you'll even have a better time. Although Edge is based off Chrome, so 
this is what we have. I hope that's helped you out in some way. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.